Hello, this is Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters and Mosquito Lagoon Site Fishing Charters located here in East Central Florida. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to tie a pretty famous knot called the blood knot. Now this knot is uh, uh, mostly used in fly fishing applications, but it can be used in other applications. Um, conventional tackle, spinning tackle, but it's used mostly for tapered leaders down on a fly rod, fly line going say from a 25 to 15 to 10 pound what it does it gives a good shape and when the knots complete good uniform um, so as you're casting it goes through guides well it reduces drag in the water and it just overall is a, a good strong knot now I will say this it's not the easiest of knots to tie uh, it's not a difficult knot to do I think it's one of those circumstances if you had an extra hand on you to help hold the stuff is more of what I'm looking for. But it's it's not hard as in the math part of it, let's say. So basically what we're going to do, and again for these illustrations I'm using the uh, paracord here. It's just easier to show the camera picks up the knots better uh, versus using a clear fluorocarbon leader. You'd never be able to see it. Um, so what we're going to do is you're going to want to give yourself about six to eight inches of uh, line. So let's just say this is the right side is the bigger diameter. The left side here is the smaller diameter. Just cross it. So we'll start with the right side. Just pinch that right there. And we're going to go, we'll go three turns with the paracord. Uh, normally four to seven depending on the size of the line. So we'll go three turns, and once that's done, you're going to come up right where it crosses here, and you're going to go through, and then you're going to pinch it down. All right, so now what we're going to do is start in the opposite direction with the, with the smaller diameter line here. We're going to go the opposite direction. So this one came through this way, so this leader right here, we're going to go that direction with the wraps. We're going to go around three, four times again. Like I said, I'm only doing it three or four just because it's paracord. I'll never be able to tighten it with four. So now that that's like that, what we're going to do with the wraps is I'm going to put it through the opening here, the hole, the opposite direction of this leader, the bigger leader. So we'll put that right through there. All right, so now you got that like that. I know it's very difficult to see the... Uh, then what you're going to do is you pull it tight, a little bit there, as you pull it tight you can clearly see it's coming into shape. And that my friend is the blood knot. It allows you also the other nice thing and this is the part about going through the guides well and reducing drag and picking up debris in the water. You're able to trim this tag lines very close to the knot itself. Uh, and, and not to compromise, you know, strength and the uh, whole purpose of the knot of joining lines together. So let me see if I can get that knot undone, and I'll do it one more time for you here. I know this paracord is not the easiest, and then I'm going to try to do it with some smaller uh, leader line here so that you can see it. So again, bigger line on the right, smaller leader on the left. Let's just say the one on the right is 25 pound fluorocarbon, let's say this one's 10 pound, 15 pound, whatever you want to say. Cross them. You want to start with the bigger leader first. So one, two, three, come up, come through where they two meet right there. Pinch it. Go in the opposite direction with this one. One, <laughs> this is where you need that extra hand. Two, three. You're going to go through the opposite direction through this hole. All right, got one going one way, one going the other way. And as you close those down, You can see the uniform shape that the knot gives. Now, like I said, if you're using 10 pound, 15 pound leader, 4 pound tippet line leader, uh, you know, go 7, 8, 
twist on that. So let me get this out of the way. And I'm gonna... Okay, so now I'm going to tie it with the smaller lines and show you. We'll pretend this is the smaller diameter leader. It's the bigger diameter leader. Six to eight inches length. Tag you're going to give yourself on each end. Start with the bigger line. We're going to go one, two, three, and normally I would do four, five, six turns, but since we're using the smaller line here, this, this uh, backing line to demonstrate on the camera. So that comes this way on the tag, pinch it. We're going to go the opposite direction where the tag thing came through. We're going to go one, two, three, four, let's say. Now this is going to go through the opposite direction of this tag. Get it through there like that. Pull that through. Pull this one through. Kind of went the wrong side there. There you go. You pull these tight. There you go. I don't know how much closer I can get that. The blood knot. Like I said, you can trim those tag ends right off pretty tight there. Really close to the knot. It allows it to go through the guides very easy. And it, it's your perfect line to uh, for tapered down leaders. Thank you. This is Captain Drew Cavanaugh. Everybody have a great day.